What is going on everyone, this is Rossi and welcome to a brand new video here today. We're bringing you guys today the biggest, you know, the most huge transfers coming in January. Obviously these are tra transfer rumours of course, these are potentials, but some of them are likely, some of them are less likely, but they're all a rumour at the minute. But we could see a few, you know, confirmations coming in shortly. Just to show you guys you have been enjoying this series, the previous one hit, you know, very, very close to 5,000 likes, which is incredible. I want to see if you guys can hit, you know, not even that much, because that was a lot and you guys you know, smash the love and smash the support. Um, you know, can we even hit like half that? 2,500, maybe 3,000? I mean, that would be incredible and that would make my day in itself. If you guys are looking for the cheapest ultimate team coins on the internet, check out golder.com in the description down below. Use code Rossi to check out page for a nice discount. If you guys are looking to buy any custom Xbox or PlayStation accessories, check out Git Grip in the description down below. Use code Rossi to check out page for a cheeky 5% discount. First up for the players, then we do have Eden Hazard. Now, obviously, there's been, you know, a lot of piss taking going out of him this season. A lot of people taking the mick out of him because he hasn't scored this season or whatever. Um, and they are mocking him in general. But it's not just him, you No, know, Chelsea have obviously not played to the standard they should be playing at this season. So it's not just him. Um, this other player is not performing as well. But there has been a big transfer rumour on him for a little while now. But it looks like he heated up a little bit more. Now he's not playing that great. We've got Real Madrid desperate to complete double raid on Chelsea for underperforming stars. All right. So they're talking Fabregas as well as Hazard. But I'm just talking about Hazard mainly in this video. Um, you know, could see Fabregas going, of course. But Hazard is the big one, I think. You know, the one that would be worth. God knows how much money, you know, Real Madrid might pay for it. They don't need another forward. They don't need it. They don't need any more strikers or wing players or anything. Real Madrid, man. They just... I, I, I don't know what, they just want every like great wing or striker in the world, I swear. But, could we see this happening? You can drop a comment down below on the likelihood of it happening on every single player. I'm, I'm interested in what you guys got to say down below. Okay, so we're going to do a bit of a circle here, right? So we're going to do like, you know, one play goes there, another play goes there. And it kind of works out to be interesting. We've got Karim Benzema now. Um, I don't know why, but, you know, leave Real Madrid. I think, um... You know, people, I think people are falling out with Benitez a little bit, or there's rumours about that. But um, Karim Benzema is one to be rumoured to be leaving and going to Chelsea, um, which are you know, apparently trying to sign him in the, uh, in the January transfer window. Now they've got a new manager as well, Chelsea. I don't know if that makes it less likely, because Mourinho obviously managed him at Real Madrid. So Mourinho might have been the one to start this rumour off. Or it makes it more likely because Hiddink's come in and said, right, we need a new striker, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, he may, get, he may just do it and buy it. So I'm not really sure which one that makes it more likely or less likely. You guys can put it in the comment section down below, of course. And now we've got another one maybe going the other way. So as you can see, a bit of a circle here. We've gone from Hazard going to Real Madrid, right? And then Benzema going the other way. And now because Benzema's gone... They've now signed Cavani, it looks like. I mean, they haven't signed him, don't get me wrong. But um, this is one of the rumours and stuff as well. We're going to have a look at here. Apparently, they're interested in signing Lewandowski as well. But, you know, I thought I'd you know, do Cavani for this one. Because Cavani's been rumoured to be leaving PSG for years now. Um, just for a very, very long time. You know, big, big, big clubs are interested in him. So, could we see Real Madrid sign him from PSG? Now, I mean, it's, it's, it's a little bit crazy. Like, it's a little bit crazy. Because, like I say, it has been linked with so many people for a while. But, you know, credit to um, credit to Real Madrid. They like signing their strikers, don't they, and the wingers. Next up, we've probably got one of the most, you know, highest performing players in the world at the minute. Highest performing. I mean, he's like second, in the, uh, second or third in the league for highest goal scoring in the Premier League, of course. Um, he's up there for assists and stuff, and it's just crazy. And Man United are rumoured to be wanting to sign him as well as Spurs. I mean, loads of clubs probably want him now. But these are the two I've seen online. Apparently, we're willing to pay £30 million for him. That's funny, because I've been seeing rumours recently of for £40 million. So, um, you know, that's crazy since they signed him for 300000 And now they might sign him for 30 40 million. That is like the most, that's like the best transfer, like, business ever. I mean, obviously, there are clubs that assign people for, like, nothing and sold them for loads. But 300 k for Leicester to 30 million, 40 million. I mean, that is great business. That is great business. Final one, then, is obviously another player. Now, Wenger is doing very, very well at the minute. You know, smashing smashing teams up. Big Man City, like, yesterday. And, um, obviously, got a few injury problems as well. So, if he just wants to get that bit of depth, depth and a bit of strength, then Wanyama could be the one to do it, okay? So, obviously, the leader CDM, um, Coquelin and stuff like that has been injured. Wanyama has been a very, very good player. And he's rumoured to be going. Let's have a look. Latest news, rumours and gossip for Arsenal FC in 2015. 15. Gunners will bid for Southampton midfielder next month. Alright, obviously December, then January. 
Um, so that's pretty impressive if we see this. Anyway, guys, put it in the comment section down below. Which one do you think is the most likely transfer out of all of these? I'm very interested to hear your thoughts and stuff in the comments down below. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure you do drop a like and a thumbs up down below. If we could try and smash 3,000 likes, that would be absolutely insane. And I'll bring you another one like, of this on the weekend, maybe, um, with a Christmas giveaway and stuff like that. Or maybe Christmas giveaway. Um, it's gonna, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'm going to do more this week anyway. If you guys want to retweet a tweet in the description to enter a, a gift code giveaway, then you can. It's down below. And guys, tweet me your thoughts. It's about me doing some more vlogs, um, some daily vlogs, buying new cameras, going around, showing a bit of my life. Um, put it in, just tweet me, all right? And just tweet me, let me know if you guys want to see that, because I'm very interested in doing that. So, has been a pleasure as always. Hopefully, you have a good day. Peace.